Namaste. How's it going? Let's continue developing the hips. Yeah, the kanda, the lingam of the hips. Yeah, the hips are like the foundation of our energetic anatomy. So we need to start from there. Yeah, meditation becomes more realistic, meaningful, and safe when the hips yeah, are strong, yeah, supple, mobile, and open, and energized. Because this is where we actually draw the energy from. Yeah, and then if there's stagnation there, and we force the brain you know, to do those meditation techniques, so we might suffer energy cuts. Yeah, and this is not good for the health of yeah, our nervous system. So the hips should be tackled first. Okay, so the lesson for today is the fallen warrior or the dying warrior. So it's an advanced position, but I will be giving you uh, some progression and modification and still yeah, achieve yeah, the same benefit and then progressively and bit by bit yeah, until you're able to yeah, practice the final position. All right, so do this after you're warming up. Okay, so let's do a bit of that, yeah, circling around like this. Yeah, so this might be your warming up sequence, just to loosen the hips there, and then circle the other way. But, and then moving your hips from side to side. Yeah. And for this lesson, yeah, if you're doing this, yeah, it's advisable that you do it over a soft and smooth cushion because we're going to be rubbing through our joints. Okay, now arms lift over the head, and then folding the elbows a few times there, and lightly swinging the side stretch, and then sweep across. So you can just do random stretching such as this, or if you're flowing and following a sequence or a system, you can do that warming up se sequence and then you may practice yeah, the technique. All right, and then just finding from one side, you may fold the elbow, lift, and then to the other side. Right, up, and then you might hang loose there, yeah. But one more per side, inhaling, and exhale, and then here you might lightly rub the hip, and then change. And then just shift your head forward and back. Beautiful. All right, give your shoulders some circling, forward circling, and backward circling. Good. And then hug and cross, open, and wrap. Up. Release the hands. You may lightly vibrate because we're going to use our hands, our wrists, uh, as the foundation of our position. And blinking the hands a few times there. Yeah, you can do your yeah, yeah, the wrist stretching, palm stretching, reaching. And release. All right, uncross the legs and then give them a light stretch forward. You may lightly bend and then shift over one side. Good. And stretching and release the other side. Yeah, so we're going to work around the lines of our hip joints. Yeah, sacrum and the thighs, yeah, bending like this and then just do yeah, a diamond shape and then just moving our hips from one side to the other side. Good, and then closer, lifting one side, and the other side. Where you might like to do a circling around there. You know, when you do the circling, you're releasing one side, yeah, and as you shift your weight to the other side, and reversing. Mm. So you can even make up your what, your own your preparatory practice, yeah, mm. and then stretching the legs in front of you, yeah. And then hugging the knees and then rolling on your spine and then bring your knees with you. Yeah. Hands behind the skull and then just lift the hips up and down, keeping your knees bent here. And then side to side them. You may start easy with your feet down and then just allow your legs to fan from side to side. Alrighty, from there, crossing the ankles and, and then gently rubbing the low back to a gentle rocking motion, but don't balance. Good. Open the arms wide and, and then allow your legs to move. As I decide, you might you know, do a light knee pull there so we can open yeah, the back of our hips, the sacral region. And then shifting to one side, use the opposite hand yeah, to roll around through the hip joint. And then let the hand yeah, manipulate the muscle away from the inner thigh. You may open and then cross it over, 
and shifting. Cross it over. Good. Two more. Okay, now we can hold that side. You might stack the hips. Thread one arm, the opposite arm under. Right. You can just stay here and hug. Yeah. Keep adjusting so the hips and the back of your body flat. Mm. Or if the flexibility is there, move your calf away from uh, the stretch. So rolling the thigh bone inward. And then the opposite arm reaching up. You may just place a hand under in a loop position. Or... You can link your hands. Yeah? And right away in here, we open this spot. Yeah? The outer uh, side of the flat bones of the hips. And then you're moving your spine away from those hip creases. Uh, you may rub the tongue here from that cheek of the center. And yeah, you will feel yeah, your shoulders, the pockets, they open, the hips too. And then move downwards. Well, the tongue yeah, is the most mobile of our muscular anatomy. And by moving the tongue in various directions, yeah, we stimulate yeah, and we facilitate uh, the movement of our inner compartments. Yeah. And then stay. If this is heavy, yeah, don't leap. Look the hands. Okay, and then soften. Let the arm go. All right, carefully bring the knee. You might be feeling some grittiness in the low back. So don't force it. You may find the other side. You may feel this side of you. You're stretching this side. And come back and change. Yeah? Good. You may even rub yourself onto your mat. You can lengthen the side over. And from there, crossing ankles and rocking up and down. So this is how I prepare for the, the dying warrior. So mostly you're yeah, opening uh, the back of the sacrum, inner thigh, yeah, the adductors and the ad abductors, and then some low back, and arm and shoulder stretching to side trunk. Okay. One. And then finally again, from one side to the other side, adding that knee lift. So have a look at how I do this technique forward and change you just don't turn and hug so there's this movement yeah, a concentric movement away from the hip and then draw the opposite closer so picture spiraling out and in to the front and then to the side yeah. you'll find it well, feels good uh, from here side to side All right. And then do the opposite side. So, so you can see also the back side. So squaring, flatten, loop that arm under. You might manipulate by rolling inward. You might start first with the chest wide. And then from there, reach and then open, adjust. And you can do the loop already. And you may allow your head to passively rest. One side is tighter. Yeah. Generally, for most of us, it's the right side. Yeah. Your tight side, yeah, so I suggest you hold it longer. And then taking some breaks in between, uh, just to restore, coil in and out of the hip, and readjust, and rebind again. And breathe. Inhaling to that side, yeah, you know, like you want to move this space away, you know, from you know, the stagnation. You may even rub the back of your ribs away from you know, the stagnation there, and redo the mind. Yes, breathe. Yeah, rubbing the tongue from the cheek. No. And lightly wiggle. You feel that when you rub the tongue around the mouth, you can feel this and also the back of the shoulders. And together with the inhalation, I feel those inner joints. And exhale. 
Good. This is actually the modification, the number one modification of the fallen warrior. You're doing it supine. And then just moving to a mild sway. Huh? And then crossing hmm? up and down. If at any time you feel your low back starts to feel gritty, it means you know, it's not for you for now. Or you might be feeling uh, a bit tight for the day. Yeah. So skip it and maybe try again the following day. All right, uh, I'm crossing. And we're coming down kneeling. And then just walking the knees. And we just rest to the child's position. Now reaching one side. And then the other one, uh, gliding side to side, and settle. Okay, we're ready. All right, down facing dog. Okay. Now, right foot, you know, what you do is to thread that right foot across under. Yeah, so the right foot goes outside of the left hand and keeping your yeah, hips square. And your left foot, you may adjust it a little bit wider, but keep rolling your left thigh bone inward. Okay, stay. All right, from here, what happens to the right foot at first, you may slide it externally and at the same time, slide your left hip backwards. Okay, so you can keep your toes stuck as you move your left hip forward and across, and at the same time, pushing that right heel away from the hip. Yeah. But yeah, there's a tendency here for the right hip to roll inward. You don't want that. So what you want to do is to move your hand inside so you can turn the thigh bone inward. You can untangle that foot already. Press, roll inward that left hip, and the right hip rolls inward too. And then moving your left side away from the left hip, and then come down. All right. Pitfall, you don't want this. You want to keep rolling your right thigh bone in. That's why we started with those. Yeah, rolling inward action. Good. And then settle. Good. And spiraling slightly to the front. Press, roll the right thigh bone in. You may pull the thigh backwards. And then moving your left hip slightly towards the front. You can coil in, yeah. roll inward, pull backwards that right. You can move the right side trunk away from the hip. And then from there, reversing. Yeah. And then crawling, 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 crawling. And uh, feels good for the hips. Okay, so what is the alternative? Okay, the alternative is you may place a block under your right butt so it's easy to turn your hips around. All right, if you are doing it with the block, definitely you might find folding low difficult for your shoulders. You can just stay halfway. Okay. Good. All right. Now, once there, yeah, you have to pull them back in. So the preparation is to like to spread away, yeah, from the creases, yeah, just to free your spine. But once you're there, yeah, draw inward and bend downwards. Yeah. You can even stretch the foot. It's not static, no, always taking the opportunity to adjust. Yeah. You may use the left arm to prevent that leg from rolling out. Yeah. Flexing, pointing, circling. All right, one more breath, you know. And exhale. All right, safety is important. Now, from here, press, move away from the hip, shifting, shorten this left leg, and lifting, and bending. Right, you're going to feel yeah, like 
this part of the sacrum really releasing and then fan and side to side at first you will feel some grittiness but as soon as you allow the body to move wow so much freedom in the hips okay good and then bending to the front good. you may do a child stretch forward just to loosen walking the knees Good. You may do a flow, huh? if you feel like flowing through it, you're down, adjusting, uh, you can bend the elbows like this and let the legs sway around. So I suggest before changing, break the cycle. And this is just one of the techniques you can do, fan side to side. If you're following a system, you can do a vinyasa, the upward facing dog, downward facing dog sequence, but that might be too intense. So, personally, what I do is I, say, I just do this to loosen. Yeah. Kicking, with a little wiggle, and settle. Okay. You can even do the flapping fish. Right? You can even do uh, the leg. You can actually do this as your preparation. Right? Many things to do. Feel it. You can roll in and then changing other side. You can lift and release. Good. Uh, let's try the other one. Yeah. For this next side, I will talk more of the breath. All right. Now I'm a facing dog. All right. Lift foot. Yeah outside of the right hand internally all right from here yeah, split first yeah this will require strength yeah really strength inhale so you don't want to be dumping your weight all right now inching your right foot right flexing pushing roll the thigh bone inward yeah at first it may roll out yeah but if you can already roll it inward and then move away from the hip first all right and then settle Use the block if you need. Yeah. Moment of settling. Let it pour lightly to your right, left hip. Breathe. Yeah. When you're ready to move again, you may tuck your foot. You may place your hand inside. But out, roll inward. You can inch your way forward. Good. It's like a split, but the leg is towards the diagonal axis inward. So you can move this part of your trunk away from the hips and lift you lift pull up and draw back roll inward and spiral over the left right hand settle you may roll in and out you may widen your back leg i'm blocking the space so let me adjust okay, you may lift this side up yeah you might turn in and out of the leg yeah left pull the thigh back move your spine lightly over the leg and outside Good. and then once there roll down All right. and then hugging in inhale mm. exhale mm. inhale to collect mm. and exhale to settle All right. you might wiggle lightly there pointing and flexing roll the thigh bone inward and then move your spine away from your hip joint. And a moment of settling. And here, let's breathe. Inhale. Feel the breath pierce the nostrils down to your hips and even the back of the sacrum. Crawl your spine forward. And exhale down. Right. So you can do the other visualization, breathing in. Send your awareness to your forehead. And across the temples, the lateral lingam, adjust, and exhale, loosen. You might feel one side is rolling out. Yeah, it's all right, but your awareness is there not to overdo it. You can use the arm to stop. And then come back. Right. One more breath. Good. All right. Inhale. 
dial to the left again shift over the front hip shorten the leg and come back right left the hip and side to side again good feels good right and then you can settle yeah left and hang and reset to the front right. or you can do yeah another round of this yeah. bending walking the knees sitting and dropping to your tummy yeah. bend the knees circle round rubbing yourself onto your cushion lifting the head and the other one crisscrossing them yeah. swimming the legs bending one knee flat and fish yeah. and you may hold your restoration longer yeah maybe one minute the side you can circle that for the round even rub the tongue there around i can't help but do this because that's how i feel be moving the tongue around the mouth i can access those stagnation deeply yeah hidden inside and you settle breathe all right and then release before you change you might crawl forward good and then bend the other knee and just and let it fall yeah, nice and limp good all right free the legs and squaring crawl the spine lightly forward and then lightly give yourself a nice wiggle kicking good all right and then pressing the needle and then setting our knees together and then moving your hips and reach to a crawl beautiful all right and come up cross ankles all right so that position yeah so when we crisscross yeah our physical body yeah right side goes to the left 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 side goes to the right in a seemingly concentric motion and what we do there is we pierce through those blockages clogging in the way and then through that we can what balance yeah our right and the left channels physically at first and when those inner joints and the inner compartments lines open up we can send and direct the breath there all right and then the dying wire the uh, resting warrior yeah is a good uh, technique for what yeah building yeah the yeah sacrolumbus region yeah so we can open yeah those generally yeah dormant and fused yeah, lines of perhaps and then when we're able to open them we can direct the sensation of the breath there and at the same time draw whatever blockages are clogging around those joints femur bone hip joints sacro lumbar lower back and even the shoulders yeah yeah would have to be open too all right so approach this practice with care plenty of preparation and always be mindful of any um, pain yeah, pain is no good uh, discomfort is part of the process and then utilize whatever you have at home blocks yeah, cushion if you don't have the blocks you can do like pillows stack of books yeah folded blanket yeah your carpet all of them will help you assist your practice thank you and i'll catch you in the next one Master.